All right, this is looking better already. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. Seeing me in the garage may have you a little nostalgic. We finally get to go back to the old original shop for at least a little bit while we get our house ready to sell. That's coming in another video. Because I have this shop, that gives me the space I need to work on my golf cart. Now this is a 1990, I think it's like a 96, 98. This is a Yamaha G16 golf cart. Now, if you know anything about these golf carts, you know that uh, coming by parts is quite difficult. I have to just work with what I have here. But I have a very, very simple rebuild and refresh in mind for this cart. Today, we're getting it ready for paint. This is a nasty maroon color that's kind of chipping off and it's revealing I don't know even what that is there, but it's got problems. You can see the original white underneath there. I wanna fix it up. So I got some big plans. I'm not gonna show you the color that this is gonna be right now, but it's gonna be pretty sweet. We're gonna put some new wheels on it. I've got some different seat covers. These ones are all old and crusty and kind of gross. So I bought some replacement seat covers. And when we're done, you will not recognize this golf cart. I'm gonna just jump into some basic body prepping for this video. And all I'm doing is just using this sandpaper to knock off the rough edges and just try to smooth it the best I can. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. It should be noted, this is not going to be a showroom golf cart. This is for our lake property. My kids will be driving it. I have a different golf cart that I'll be using, which I will reveal in a different video. I need to make it at least a little bit cool, right? So I got big plans for it that I can do on the very, very cheap. Stay tuned to see if you like what we've done and I'll break down exactly what the cost was to do this. As it is, so far I am into this golf cart for only 1,500 Canadian dollars it runs and it drives. So I've confirmed mechanically it's working good enough to use it. It's not perfect, it's an old golf cart, but in its actual like physical form, it's kind of ugly. So we're gonna fix that. done sanding and prepping the golf cart so now it's time to just give it a quick wipe down and then start with the paint now this is the return of the spray nine that you saw in my painting your car rims video all we want to do is make sure we got all the dust off of here let's we'll get it all wet and then use a paper towel to wipe it down that is it. This is ready for paint. I'm just gonna throw some masking tape on here so I don't get any overspray in places I don't want it. It's all masked off. Having the body panels all lifted helps a lot to be able to just shove the newspaper under there. So now it is time for the big reveal. What color have I gone with? There it is, trim clad, gloss real orange. Some of you may be wondering, why am I going with trim clad? Well, this is available at Walmart, it's available at Amazon, it's available at my local Canadian Tire. So if I ever need to do touch-ups, it's an easy paint to find and to fix problems with. If I went with something a little more exotic, it's harder to find. Plus, trim clad's pretty cheap, and trim clad will fill in all of the imperfections pretty good keep in mind this is a cheap golf cart it's not like a super expensive nice one i just want it to look good from about 10 feet away first thing you want to do is mix your paint really well and usually i like to do it upside down because it was probably 
sitting on a shelf like this so that means all the paint settled to the bottom if you flip it upside down then it wants to go the other way already anyway so you can let gravity help you out and just like the painting the rims you want to go nice light coats i like to get the edges first oh yeah look at that on the white part it already looks awesome on the red part it's going to take quite a few coats let's get inside those fender wells we're not going to worry too much about overspray because the black parts are going to be black as long as we get the orange parts orange now that we've trimmed out the edges now it's just time to lay on some nice light coats i'm going to do a crisscross pattern so i'm going to go like this first and then i'll go back the other way this is coat number one you can see the other paint through this that's okay we're probably going to do three coats in total on this the first one is just to get a nice quick dusting on it so that we can get the paint to stick just like that you can see we got a little bit ambitious here and i've already got some runs developing so i'm going to wipe those up you'll notice that what i thought was runs from my paint is actually runs from the previous paint job so now i'm going to just put some paint back down on it and keep going now this is pretty fast dry so it's okay to start doing my second coat on here and this time i'm going to go across so that it helps to fill in the lines that you would have seen as we painted it that'll help get rid of like this tiger stripe look that we've got going on from all the different colors of paint this thing had on it before look at that probably looks great on the camera already this middle part is a bit of a problem so we're going to do some vertical lines now do some horizontal lines just to help the paint smooth itself all right we're gonna give that some time to dry so that i can come back and do some more on this it's already looking better and you're gonna want to wait till the next video where i put all the finishing touches on this because this is just a small bit of the total makeover so here you go this is what it looks like now a nice shiny orange paint job and this is what it was before so when you're like anton that doesn't look so good Keep in mind, this is what it looked like before. Black, and white, and red, and chips, and all that crap. And now, we've got this nice orange color. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video, and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.